gosh, you guys, I literally just had to pull over to the side over here to get out of the way of this semi-truck because I had two semi-trucks behind me and they had those like long beds that they pull and the one that was like right behind me was literally riding my ass. Like he was tailgating me. It was kind of scary because like, you know, I was going the speed limit and I had to go over the speed limit a little bit too because I was worried he was going to hit me and he still was riding me until I decided to pull over into this random road that led to people's houses and then just, uh, it was kind of scary. Like I literally thought he was going to hit me. It was very scary. Anyways, I'm going to turn this off because I don't know if that's a cop behind me or if it's a normal truck. I think it's a normal truck, but let's just be safe. Okay, so we're going to be going up to that Fort Columbia State Park. We've been here a couple of times, as most of you already know. But I'm going to go up there and explore like the old buildings, the ruins, and everything. Because that just seems like a cool spot. So that's what we're going to do. I've got to get my State Park Pass out to remember to put it so that you don't get in trouble. Okay, here it is. Now I don't know if I want to park all the way up there because last time I had to reverse and that was embarrassing in itself just because it was like, uh, I had to see those houses up there. I'll show you where I had to reverse. It was so embarrassing. Like I struggled because there was a person coming down the hill and yeah, they just went down the wrong way. So that was very embarrassing. But see this up there? I could. Actually, I think I'll just park here because I can just explore the old buildings right here. So this is like perfect. You can pay over here. I don't know if I should park like this person or am I gonna park? I'm gonna park this way actually. There you go, this is perfect. Okay, I figured since it's October 1st, I would go visit a spooky, spooky, old, abandoned looking building area. So that's what we're doing. Look at these beautiful houses. So that's where people who served in the military, they stayed in these houses. Very beautiful, but now you can rent them as vacation rentals. And I think a couple of park rangers or people who maintain the park, I think they also live up there. But I came to see this part of the building. You guys probably do remember this area. I've been here a couple of times. But that's what I was talking about earlier. I drove up there and somebody was coming down this way too. And I had to reverse all the way down. It was so horrible. Uh, I cringed at myself because I'm just not the best at reversing. There's beautiful homes. By the way, if you're wondering, this is um, Fort Columbia State Park. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a video or somewhat of a close up. I'm sorry if the quality is not that great. Wow. By the way, I'm so happy that I have a DJI again because, yeah, not having it was kind of torture. It's beautiful. I don't know which way to walk. I guess we'll walk this way. It's a beautiful building, just a little bit creepy at the same time. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna walk around a little bit, check things out. Ooh, spooky. Oh, look at that. By the way, if there's any spirits here, feel free to talk with this DJI or next to it. It's my recording device. Spooky, huh? Hmm. I just walked through a spider web. Huh. Wonder why they closed that off.
Okay. Oh, God. Don't know why this place gives me the heebie jeebies, but it does. This would make a good haunted house for Halloween or something. Okay, I need to step out for a second because that's scary. Oof. There she is. Scary. Here she is. I feel like I tore it that way too quickly, but I don't know. She's just a little scary. Can you imagine like being a soldier back in the day? I'm sure this didn't look as rough as it did as it does today, but back then, yeah, for sure. Ugh, gives me the heavy jibbies. Wow this. I feel like they didn't have this boarded up, or maybe they did, and they just put new wood. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful building. So much history and character left behind. I love exploring places like this. Wow, wow, wow. This place has so much history. And it's beautiful. I know it might be weird to call places this beautiful, but it is because it has like lots of history and the fact that it's still standing is cool. Definitely cool that a building like this is still around. There's another structure like over there. Um, but I don't know. We'll see if we're going to go there. But again, here's the houses. They're just beautiful. I absolutely love the houses. Okay, hopefully I can drive up that way without any issues. Fingers crossed because I'm not going to reverse again. I was at like the second or the third house and I had to reverse. It was so, so embarrassing. I'm parked over here. You can see. There's actually another cool place that leads all the way behind in the forest over there to this really cool water spot. But there's no way I'm going there alone. Maybe with someone else. But definitely not alone. And I think there's trails that lead somewhere too. I wonder if something leads down that way. Well, there's like a dirt road, but I don't know. Probably can't go down that way. Okay, it's hot. But anyways, um, well, it's hot in the car. I think what we're going to do is we're going to drive up there. And we'll see where we go from there, I guess. Okay, wish me luck. But nobody comes down that way. There was one truck that went up, but nobody went down. Uh, there's no way I'm going to reverse. I'm so horrible with reversing, but yeah, you see these beautiful houses? Just gorgeous. Beautiful. I would love to live in a house like this. Like this is when I think of a house, this is like the type of house I would love. This was the commanding officer's quarters, now a house museum. Like look at that, wow. It's beautiful, extremely beautiful building. So yeah, up this way, if you go all the way up there to the back road, um, to the very right, you can actually go to that cool water spot that I was talking about but today we're not gonna go there so yeah that's that okay I think what we might do though is park up here I don't know if I should park on this one or the next spot let's do the next one 
Wow, look at that view. You guys, look at where I'm parked. Look at this view. This is amazing. Absolutely. Oh, you can see the cars down there. I forgot. But anyways, that's the way to Oregon over there. To go down to Astoria and then Warrington and then all that stuff. The big Astoria Bridge. Wow, how beautiful. Just gorgeous. By the way, I'm filming in my DJI again, so yeah, I forgot if I mentioned it or not. But it feels so good to be able to do that again. Wow. It really feels like you're on top of the world over here. I can see why they picked this location. You can literally see everything. You can see all your enemies if there was to come. So much stuff. It's pretty wild. Over here they have some information stuff. That's where we are on the map. Wow, look at that. So the soldiers relied on food from shipments. So like army issued food. Um, milk, butter, eggs, and fresh vegetables. And they would get them at the dock, so, yeah, pretty wild. So soldiers live, uh, lives were highly regimented, but they still had time for fun. So I guess they play, like, baseball and things like that. I wonder if this is, like, an actual photo of them or what. But they look so young. Like, he looks so young. They all look young, actually. Wow. So it says here, when Fort Columbia was built between 19, or 1896 and 1906, it was remote and required services, similar to a small town. So the structures were more than just houses. They included a hospital, firehouse, theater, jail, generator plant, and the men were more than just soldiers. They were also bakers, barbers, gardeners, musicians. So it was like a small little town and they all had like other certain roles to play as well. So yeah, very interesting. So the interesting thing here is, so that's where we are, right? And if you go down here, there's like a whole trail. So I told you there was some sort of like trail and everything, but like that's oh, the trails all the way back there. It would be interesting to explore with somebody, but I don't feel comfortable doing it alone, but yeah, so the whole trail and everything. Wow. Very interesting. Hmm. And it's not that long. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad, but I'm a chicken to do it alone. Yeah, it definitely feels like I'm on top of the world. <gasps> Look, there's a cute little caterpillar. Oh, he's beautiful. Did I see him? I wonder if we'll find any more caterpillars or if we'll find any different ones. But yeah, this is just so cool to just see everything. This just imagine this place filled with the soldiers back then and people and just everything. Wow. I know that the theater, at least, is all the way down there. Um, yeah. I think it used to be the theater. I think if I'm correct, but it's just crazy to just see all this. And then they've got this, like, little hole thing down there. I'm gonna check this out. I think this is where they probably had one of those guns stationed or something. Oh, you can crawl down there. So I guess maybe it's a bunker? Huh, let's see. Probably gun slash bunker or something. I don't know. Looks interesting though. Wow. Part of me wants to go in there, but like... Ugh, spiders. I don't like spiders. Wow.
just interesting. Wow. Beautiful view from here too. You can see the little bit of the island over there. I do want to go in here. But again, spiders. This is kind of scary. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go in this thing. Alright, we're gonna go. We'll be fine. Alright, in we go. A little bit nervous. Oops, we'll be fine. I think. Oh. So this is what it's like to be in a building like this. A bunker with the top open. How wild. It's actually not as bad in here. Not a lot of spiders. I don't see any. Definitely pretty much better than I thought it would be in here. I thought it'd be kind of scary and full of spiders and stuff, but nope. No. Like that. Oops. Oh, ow. Ow. That part. Oops. Oh, ow. Ow. That part's not fun. Off we make it. Yeah, this place is it's beautiful out here. And I love that there's like picnic benches here so you can sit. Yes, it might be a little noisy from the cars down there. But honestly, look at that. It's just beautiful like if I could sleep here overnight I totally would I'm only a little scared parking here because I don't want to roll down there but there's a tree in front of me so that won't happen and also have my parking brake on but still has me a little paranoid I don't know maybe I'm like overthinking or whatever the wrong side with being an overthinker I'm also hungry. I do have two Oreo cookies that I bought with me. <laughs> and some crackers. <sighs> Bless the Lord. Yeah, anyways, because I've been on a, my weight loss journey for quite a while now, but I'm finally back on track, so that's good. Um, trying to make sure I don't overeat and you know, do too much. But let's see, maybe we'll go explore down there or something. I don't know yet what we'll do. You guys, it's probably been like forever since I had Oreo cookies. I bought them like my last trip or something, I forgot. But um, they're so good. I like remember why. Or I remember how good they were, not why I didn't get it. Okay, so we're gonna leave this area by the houses and go down. Make sure no one is behind me. I feel like I have to rush to do everything and it's just so annoying. Like I always feel like I have to rush to when I whenever I go out like a child who can't be past a certain time or something, it's annoying. Uh, anyways. Let's see. Sorry for the crookedness. You guys know my car tripod is it's, it's really something. But yeah, you can see down there just the beautiful old building. There's more down there. So there is quite a lot to see, but I don't know if I'm going to go down there. 
as I already went recently and showed you guys, but I just wanted to come down here for October to do like a kind of spooky vibe thing with Jigger, just to visit a place with like history, and I feel like this is like the perfect place for something like that. This is the bathrooms here. They were something else before, I can't remember exactly what without looking at the sign, but yeah, so they're just restrooms over there right now. Ooh, yay, going down this part right here kind of is a little sketchy, not gonna lie, but just slow and steady. Yes, God, if I had to reverse out of this one, mm -mm. there's a sign that says do not enter, so hopefully people can read that and be like, oh, okay, you know? Now we're gonna go down, 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 down we go, stop sign, should I let this guy pass me? Yeah, I'm gonna let him pass me. Oh, wait for him. Oh, okay, I guess he's waiting for me to go too. Thank you. How kind. That was a cute little crow. I guess this guy changed his mind because he's right behind me. Oh, for the man. Stay close. 